hey what's up guys this is my unboxing video for the oneplus 7 pro now this phone been out for about a week or whatnot but this is my unboxing the oneplus 7 pro come with the 3120 by 1440 so it's a 2k screen like the galaxy s10 or the galaxy s10 plus it come with a 48 megapixel camera can record videos at 20 160 at 60 fps so that's nice it can do 4k at 60 fps the particular model i have is the 8 gigabyte plus 256 gig internal storage but you can also get that phone in 6 gigabyte and 128 gig internal storage also the big boy will be 12 gigabytes of ram and 256 gig internal storage it come with Bluetooth 4.0 it come with Bluetooth 5.0 it come with a 4000 milliamp non removable battery so that's nice it come with a 90 refresh rate display so that's awesome it'll give you that smooth you know that buttery smooth fresh rate on the display you know what I mean so uh, this thing is a big boy 6.7 inch screen it's awesome go beyond speed on the top it says never settle on the other side it says one plus seven pro let's go ahead and take the plastic off and uh, we'll see what the phone look like I've been waiting for this phone so uh, yeah but it's finally here guys so let me remove the plastic okay so I got the plastic off and uh, let me slide this thing out just like so and uh, we're gonna go dig inside the box to see what else do we have because it come with some goodies of course we want to make sure we check them out so uh, let's slide this baby open okay how do we open this thing there we go let's put the knife to the side because I don't need the knife no more all right so uh, let's see here first up we got a TPU case that's awesome oneplus always include a case it says welcome let's see what we got it's a message from the CEO of oneplus let's put that back next we got some booklet I guess yep we got the sum ejecting tool that's the sum ejecting tool never settle next we got some manual and instructions you know stuff like that warranty information and we also got a oneplus sticker never settle so let's put that to the side let's see what else do we got okay we got nothing else and here's the case the oneplus 7 port come with the tpu case that's awesome it's just a flimsy TPU case, nothing special, but it's nice that OnePlus included that case. So, let's see what the phone look like, guys. Here's the phone. Let's put it to the side for a minute. Let's keep digging on in. Okay, so what else do we have? We have the watt, 30 watt power adapter. If you charge this phone for about 30 minutes, I think, it should give you up to 50% charge I think something like that this phone charge really fast with that 30 watt power adapter it, it charged the phone really fast let's see what else do we got to charge the device that's the power cable let me take it out to show you guys you got one end that is USB type C of course and the other end will be your regular you know your regular USB port so that's all inside the box no headphone jack I mean no headphone no headphone but you got a case to make it up so uh, let's go ahead and see never settle okay nice let's remove the plastic like so and here's the OnePlus 7 Pro let me remove the stick on the back of it there we go and here it is guys this thing look like a base it's big it got a nice weight to it 
it doesn't feel cheap at all because it is Gorilla Glass 6 so that's awesome you can see the OnePlus name the OnePlus logo you got dual camera setup on the top and you got one more on the bottom with the LED flash on the left side you'll see the volume up and down on the right side you'll see the mute switch the vibrate switch and the sound switch as well the power sleep and wake button on the right side on the very top you'll see a microphone for noise cancelling and I think that's where the SIM card tray will go yep but this phone does not support the micro SD card but the one I have is 256 gig that's plenty storage for me on the very bottom you'll see the speaker grill and you'll see another microphone for noise cancelling a USB-C to charge and sync oh so the micro okay so the SIM card tray is on the bottom of the phone I'm not sure what that is I thought it was a port to put the micro SD card or I'm not really sure what that is because this phone does not support micro SD card so I'm not sure what this port is but the SIM card tray will go on the bottom this phone support dual speaker on the very top as well on the bottom so that's awesome so uh, let's power this baby up to see if we have any juice and yes indeed we got some juice so while we're booting this thing up let me compare it to some more devices that I have so while it's booting back up let me compare it to some phones that I have laying around here it is comparing it to the Galaxy A9 2018 you can see it's a little bit taller they almost are about the same size but the Galaxy A9 2018 is a little bit shorter the OnePlus 7 Pro is a tad taller here it is comparing it to the Google Pixel 3 you can see the Google Pixel 3 is a lot smaller Pixel 3 is a lot smaller than the OnePlus 7 here it is going against the Galaxy A50 the Galaxy A50 is a little bit shorter so the OnePlus 7 is a little bit taller here it is against the Motorola One Power you can see the Motorola One Power is a little bit shorter so next the Google Pixel 2 it's a little bit shorter of course and next the Galaxy A8 2018 is a little bit shorter of course okay next the Galaxy A7 2018 is also a little bit shorter okay next the Moto Z3 next the Moto Ola Z you can see the Moto Z3 is a little bit smaller of course a little bit shorter than the OnePlus 7 so the Moto Z3 is a little bit smaller next you got the Moto G7 there we go the Moto G7 also a little bit shorter so that's that now let's compare it to the Galaxy S6 and you can see the Galaxy S6 is a lot shorter than the OnePlus 7 next let's compare it to the Moto G5 Plus that's the Moto G5 Plus for you you can see it's a little bit shorter of course next how about the Nexus 5X yes indeed the old school Nexus 5X a little bit shorter guys now let's stack it up against the big boy the Moto G6 Plus and the OnePlus 7 Pro is a little bit taller and last but not least the iPhone XR the iPhone XR is a little bit shorter of course so anyway that was a quick comparison to some phones that I have since this is a big boy we wanted to see how it stack up so let's tap on start and I'm gonna tap on your grid tap on your grid again next user experience join one plus 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 yada no thanks and no thanks no thanks 
connect to your mobile we're not gonna worry about that now I'm gonna skip that circuit I am skipping it like so I'm gonna tap on next we don't care about that we just wanna get into the phone I'm gonna tap on accept I'm not gonna set up my fingerprint right now so I'm just gonna skip it skip anyway and just a second okay now for screen calibration you got vivid you got natural and you got advanced hmm not sure which one I should keep I think I'm gonna keep natural yeah vivid is too saturated for me I'm gonna keep it on natural I'm gonna tap on next the wonderful wizard of OS war bottle or one plus state hmm let's see which font do I like the best I'm gonna keep it on one plus slate I guess I'm gonna tap on next and there you go guys now we on the device okay so let's go to settings to see which version of Android is then running let's go to settings like so and now let's go down to about phone and you can see it is running the latest Oxygen OS update that is version 9.5.1 and it is Android version 9.0 you can see it like so Android 9.0 Pi baby this phone will also get Android Q Android 10.0 in the future so keep that in mind so let's go back let's tap and hold you can change your wallpapers, widgets, home settings if I swap down go to my notification you got six toggles on the top you got your Wi-Fi Bluetooth flashlight you know all that good stuff if we go back to settings though you got sound and vibration you got your volume rain control media volume alarm volume you got your do not disturb you got your vibration system sound I'm gonna leave those off because I don't like them if we go to storage the phone come with about 230 gig out of the 256 gig so you'll get about 230 gig so that's nice and of course if we go back you got your battery it come with 54 percent so 54 percent that's cool if we go to buttons and gestures if we tap on navigation bar and gestures you can use the regular buttons on screen button or you can use the uh, gestures if you want to you know you can swap up blase blase yada just like the iphone you can use gestures but me i prefer on screen button so i'm gonna leave them like that if i go back if we go to security and lock screen you got your google play protect screen lock you know blase yada yada we don't care about those if we go to account you can add your google account your yahoo email stuff like that if we go to utilities you got your gaming mode now the gaming mode is awesome it's something like the game launcher on your galaxy devices so that's nice if we go back if we go to system and if we go to rainbows rainbows allow you to you know kill all the background apps or whatnot and let your phone go at full blast so there will be no lag at all especially if you're playing games and you're switching apps or whatnot you know rainbows kill all the background apps and only use the app or game that you're playing at the current time and of course you got your recent app and management you got normal clear or deep clear if we go to uh, experience improvement program you got one plus notification user experience program system stability program you also got your recent option you know stuff like that that's your recent option you got your OTG cable if you want to connect an OTG cable, I think, like a storage devices, you can do that if you want to. If we go to system update, this is what you're gonna get. Oxygen OS version 9.5.1. So far, I am liking this beast, but good gracious, this thing is huge. 
Let's check out the camera since this thing come with no notch or screen display. It come with the... Oh, I just remember that guys. That was not the SIM card tray. That was the pop-up camera. Wow, I just remember that. That was the OnePlus 7 Pro unboxing video guys. This video is getting too long. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon. I'm out guys. Peace.